good time Oliver Twist Shack took care of us so if you're in a crowd at any point in time and you're trying to figure out what to do outside of eating even though the food is good here the paint nights the paint nights but they also have a really big schedule throughout the whole week um, especially during this time this season I remember two years I came here uh, two years ago I came here and I remember it being one of the first places that I was like oh this is a vibe if this is what Ghana is like this is a vibe because someone had recommended it and honestly i love it i love it the food is really good guys you can take it from me the food is good <laughs> Thank you so much for doing it for the culture, but also having the business to back it. Kobe Uncle, actually. I'm excited for your segment. Thanks. You know, get to experience Ghana and get to know, you know, I love Ghana a lot and, you know, we're considering. You know. And access to different markets. So without further ado, I'm going to get to the next conversation. I'll just ask for one more chair to be in a team. Focus on having a team to support yourself and support your business. Focus on the art. So Wudamawata was cool, but it was so hot in there. I had to come out. Bondi, the restaurant is right beside it. So I was like, okay. This reminds me of that Michelle Obama. <laughs> Tell me you're a Ghanaian girl without telling me you're a Ghanaian girl, okay? The fact that Debonair Afrique has sent me a package plus complimentary VIP tickets two years in a row, the beach, it, it says a lot. It says a lot, okay? The girl, the, 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 the company wants the girl in, in the mix. So, yeah. <laughs> 
got me flan. Let me see what's inside here, you guys. I'm just gonna open it up and then show you. So it's two picture frames. Well, for each invite, um, I guess this is the ticket. Um, the theme is elitism of an African ball, and I love that. They also put like a t-shirt in here and some stickers and gave us a fan because Lord knows these events are hot. So many of them are outside. Child, that is the one thing that I cannot with, but at least they prepared us with some fans because it's going to be a good time. Thank you, Debonair. <laughs> Now when it comes to the AI, we already know that they have BARD. We already know that Deep Dive was something that they invested in before anyone was talking about AI, it was them. We know that Altman comes from that. So they've been at the cusp of AI from the beginning. They just haven't had the product or had the innovation to say, this is ours, come over here. I think that's it. I want to say is please don't always try to figure out the answers before you start. If you want to go ahead to do stuff, just do it. Just start. Just start something. You will figure it out. Because I started, I didn't have a plan. Um, when I was in the U.S., I worked and you know put myself through college, um, and the excess money that I had, that's what I lived off when I came. Because the first couple of years, I was my sister's driver and her PA at the same time learning the ropes of how things work in Ghana and stuff. And um, I didn't have any capital, because the money I had, I needed to survive off that. I also had a child, and I needed to take care of my child in DC. So it was very, very challenging. Um, I believe in my dream, so I made a transition from, you know, investing in myself, investing in my business, investing what I believe in. That's how I made a transition. So, we are going on a cruise today. And I'm just following Eve and Rennie and them. They have friends who have invited them. But I'm done. And uh, it's supposed to be a time. So we're gonna go meet up at the boat. I honestly don't know what to expect, but I'm putting positivity into the universe. We're gonna have an amazing time. Aren't we ladies? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, and did I mention that the party is all white? The bus, we finally found it. People are already on it. Someone's fanning themselves on the bus? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Absolutely not. Oh, Look here. Right? She, wow. She's something else. I'm been updated since 1970. Not this but y'all. Yeah. More people coming. Yeah. Did you guys get smashed and stuff? Yeah. That's what I want us to stay back. Let's just get back to the women. But why didn't we make a plan? I don't even know if it's fair to say that we are halfway there. Are we halfway there? Yeah. I'm so ready for my drink. I just want my drink in my hand. I want my drink in my hand. I want my drink in my hand. My seat. The breeze in my brigades. Oh, Rennie's awake. Now she turned over. I would like to get to know
you guys but we're finally off of the bus it was a two and a half hour drive um still can't remember the name of where we are but the people are on the boat so we gotta go before they leave us <laughs> jewelry shopping in mm -hmm. what area is this called Ooh. again it's a car samba a car samba guy is say ako sumbo us would say ako sumbo the biggest um dam in ghana well the dam that keeps us alive this is it the dam the dam someone explain to me what this is it's giving moody Guys, you know they're boarding the bus. Oh. Hey, sorry. They've been boarded the bus. <laughs> and you look gorgeous in your white dress. Thank you. Turn Thank around. You. Come. Thank you. Turn around. Hey. Turn around. Hey. Look at Eve. <laughs> Thank you. Food, water, beverage, and board. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. We're getting a little bit of the American meal, right? Most of my following is American. I love you guys. And you guys. And your music. I'm excited. The hip hop's in R and B's. Did the girl make this dress? Better be fluffy friendly. And I'm up talking. Wait, having phone sex. Give us too much. Too much. Since you can find the life jacket in them, they also serve as C. Please, you get yourself one. You done and done it very well before you try to run it for anybody else. Please, you done yours first. Please, this is the way we done a life jacket. The head over you. Where? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It's a life jacket. Oh, no. I get the same thing. 
sing every time, child. Parmesan wheel truffle. the countdown was a success um i don't know if i was saying it in the videos but i was bragging on my man first of all my boyfriend does a lot of these events these huge events and i'm just so proud of him so i'm always gonna give him a shout out um <clears throat> but it was really good usually we go to the beach and end off the night but after the countdown we were like do we feel like being in the club we didn't really feel like being in the club did not feel like it I feel like I've given you guys so much of the clubbing version of Ghana and I feel like hopefully you respect, well, you offer respect it actually because this is my life and this is where I am and this is what I'm doing. 
um, and you guys have always shown me love so I'm sure you guys respect it regardless so I don't even know why I have to prefix that way but anyways yeah so we decided to go home after like I think at like four almost minutes to four we we're like yeah make what we had <laughs> Babe and his bestie are taking me and his bestie's girlfriend away for the weekend and I don't really know much about this place but it's called Floats. It looks really cool so far. It took us two hours to get here and um, they just went ahead of us so we're waiting in the car. We're literally waiting in both cars right now. Um, I think they're you know setting up the reservation or like paying for the reservation that they already made um i'm excited though i love when there's like a little surprise you know something to look forward to so i'll show you guys what it's okay guys so i opened the blinds and i was like immediately so happy the sun the setting there's a pool over there i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like so we didn't get here until the middle of the night so i couldn't show you like right away but um i'm gonna show you now okay we already slept in the bed so you don't get the full like you know but this place is gorgeous and we're about to go have breakfast and discover yeah and so it's called flow and we're literally on the water like our whole spot is on the water so that's where the shower is um we messed up the room i wish you guys would have, you know what i mean but <laughs> i was having a time last night so um i didn't really get to well you'll see my short version on instagram and tiktok and you'll see the whole setup but yeah so this is our bed um that's the view that i just showed you uh, let me show you the washroom love this this shower is incredible like the the me i'm big on a water pressure and a hot shower yeah that's okay kind of hard to come by in ghana the hot shower but um give me Look at your girl looking cute, looking like a wifey. Period. Let me show you the view from the washroom. Guys, how cute is that? With the pond water. Yeah. I love that my boyfriend understands that my like nice things, unique things, you know? I love that. I love that for me. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys outside so you can see Wagwan on the premises. Look at the balcony, you guys. The balcony is balcony. The balcony is balcony in. The views is viewing. 
Look at that. How beautiful is that? Pretty sure I hear a church in the background. Wow. I love this for me. My hair is so messy. It's time for a new do. But it's giving real boho. It's giving real boho. Anyway. Listen. I'm not enough people mad at me. Because they wanted like more and more party content and stuff. And honestly, like since I've been coming to Ghana, I have been involving you guys. Like, the, like I'm learning so much about the culture, but also about myself. And at this point, like after years and years and years of just going, going, going and trying to put in work and trying to hustle, you know, in that very Western hustle culture, I really really value the time that i don't really necessarily need to be like uploading my every move and um and like i'm trying to find a balance in that and i think i've told you guys that a million times over but you know sometimes people are like oh my god where's our vlogs we need more vlogs and i'm just like there's so many girls coming to ghana now so many i've met so many people um influencers and non-influencers who've like come up to me when they see me out here and they're like oh my god i'm literally here because of you and that warms my heart so much because that's what i want for us that's truly 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 all i ever wanted for us because from the first time i came here in 2021 i was like nah like we need to experience this and then we need to make another analyzation about where we want to be where we want to raise our families where we want to live where we want to invest in etc so the fact that people are coming now in the droves, in the thousands, um, obviously I'm not responsible for all of them, but I'm responsible for a lot of them because it happens a lot out here. Uh, people tell me that and I'm happy. Like I've done my job and I feel like so many girls now are vlogging their experiences in Ghana. So you can get a ton of TikTok content um, in regards to like partying. But now your girl... <sighs> she's she's on to different things it's an evolution you know what i mean it's an evolution i'm in love i'm being treated well i'm building with someone that i trust and that i care about and honestly if next year come and i know him you guys know me <laughs> we move you know what i mean but i do feel like i do feel like this might be the one um and yeah so i'm just being conscious present grateful just but big on the present big on the present you know and when he does things like this i just melt i melt because like he's paying attention you know i'm not the biggest like luxurious girl i don't really you guys have never seen me in a designer purse or walking through the Shangri-La. Not that I not that I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? I've spoken at the Shangri-La, but never stayed there. Um because I'm not really that 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 type of girl. Like I really enjoy like intimate, unique moments. I really truly feel like I'm a country girl at heart. Like my dad is a country man, a country Jamaican man. I feel like I really that bloodline really passed through me because there's no even when i'm in jamaica just sitting like in country where all of the trees and vegetation and bushes are around you and you hear the sound of the animals and the dirt road and like community and those are the things that warm my heart to the and take my heart to the you know what i mean that like and i'm not dissing any person who's like you know skyscrapers and 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 bugattis and because everybody likes something different but me i like i like all that too but i'm a country girl at heart like so and water being surrounded by water oh oh so you guys that's where we're staying that's where we were just in okay so it's kind of like it almost feels like a ship that we're on 
but you come right outside there's other people's over there this is the pool area I really wish I wasn't on my period so annoying I mean I guess I could still go in because I have like my cup but uh, so nice my boyfriend's making me meet the owner. All right, guys, I'm here with KB. He is the owner of Float. And I just thought he should come and say hello to you guys because I actually love this space. So KB, can you tell me a little bit about your space and what they can expect if they're coming to Ghana? Sure, so this is the Float and welcome. It's a pleasure having you, Sasha. Thank you. So um, this is a place where you just want to come out and just you know forget about all your worries in the big cities and just relax and mm -hmm. become one with nature and yourself mm -hmm. so you could think better right right so, yeah right yeah so we have um standard rooms on land mm -hmm. and then we have floating a floating house right. which has four which bedrooms which is what in i'm it. in mm -hmm. and i'm sure you loved it i love it yeah Did it's you, gorgeous I, I hope you will enjoy the sunrise this morning yeah it was beautiful the, the fishermen going past your window yeah, and stuff like that it was yeah. very nice right so we have that and then we have a pontoon party boat that you could have your breakfast on in the morning which so, we're about to go on right now yeah exactly okay <laughs> so once you're on you could see what is around you you know, mm -hmm. you know we got so many beautiful serene mm -hmm. you know land features all around you and right. stuff like that and then we have jet skis we have kayaks we have paddle boats oh. you know and we have a uh, a nice infinity pool okay yeah the infinity for me pool. it's my favorite yeah it's i my love favorite. it <laughs> it's my favorite it caught my eye too. exactly yeah so we, we are cleaning it now but you know once we turn it on and everything you know starts it's then lovely it's good to go this is good to go okay and then we have something new coming up called the horizon okay uh you know it's out there right yeah. here you can see the carpenters working in it now it should this be ready in about two or three days just putting the finishing okay. to it. Yeah. So, um, the float has been here just about eight years. Nice. And then it used to be just a small place where friends, you know, my friends come together. used to come together just to hang out. Yeah. And then over the time, it, you know, it's transformed. We kind of commercialized it. You know? Okay. And I've not regretted it. I yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I, get... I wouldn't regret it either. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So we get a lot of wonderful people. Always good, positive vibe. Nice. And, and, uh, I, I couldn't ask for more. Well, we yeah. love that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for making Flow available for thank us. You. Thank you. I'm going to leave all the information down in the description box so that right. when you guys are coming to Ghana and you're trying to have a romantic date or you just want to chill with your girlfriends right. or your guy friends, you can know exactly how to reach out to KB. All right, thank you so much, KB. All right, good having you. All right. All right.
So cute. <laughs> Why y'all messing it up? Good job, babe. Yeah. Thank you. We're gonna make some smoothies. Well, I'm gonna make some smoothies and babe is gonna help. So we're picking up some pineapple and coconut. Is this babe pineapple here and coconut? Just pineapple here and then coconut somewhere else. Okay guys, pineapple here, coconut somewhere else. She's so pretty. I asked her permission, you guys. Okay, so I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. There's nothing like getting nice, fresh food from a Guys, we're just running around. I'm a gamma wifey. Yeah. Now for the coconuts. This is all because there's a smoothie place that I really, really love here that has been closed for like a week and now I have to make a smoothie. So, getting the ingredients, making a nice one for me and me. Right He's taking me to the best of the best. bottle of condensed this can of condensed milk is like it's literally miniature I've never seen anything like it I was like going back and forth saying 
no, like the bottle is not small, not big, not small. He's like, oh, there's a mini one. I'm like, no, like how much smaller can it get, bruh? This is our <laughs> regular size. <laughs> Look at the sizes they have here. This is so cute. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shitty. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let me let the fog get away a little bit. Curry chicken is being served for dinner tonight. I'm almost done. We've got about 15 minutes max left. And I'm gonna show you the finishing result when I share out Bates' plate. First of all, it ain't curry if the nails aren't ruined. And I love the whole potato in a my curry. It's too foggy, too foggy. Look at white rice. That was hot. That was hot. I'm showing off. Way to have it, in my opinion, not true, daddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, like, something like oxtail tastes good with white rice, too, but it tastes better with rice and peas. Yeah, so, it's a little darker. <laughs> than I expected, but it tastes great, guys. It tastes amazing. I know you're probably like, girl, you need to work on your curry, but listen, top and eyes, it's good. And I'm proud of myself. Y'all. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot of people are probably like, bruh, compared to your first trip to this trip something's a little different and honestly if i'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys i'm spending time on my van but i'm still here for you i promise it's just you know your girl is growing up and looking to grow the future okay but either way debonair afriques um fashion show no well actually they are having a fashion show but debonair afrique's fashion event um is happening again on january 2nd which is in a few days and i just reached out to a lady who is a designer here because i was gonna wear like another fashion nova fit as i have done in past years in the two past years but the theme for this year is elitism of an african ball not a hundred percent sure of what that means but based off of what i'm gathering and what i've read they want the people to be showcasing african designers and so i was like oh say no more i'm in ghana there's no reason why i shouldn't put some money in a designer's hand from here and see if i can um you know showcase their work but also like get a beautifully unique fit made for me so i am driving about half an hour outside of where i'm at to hacho um in ghana which is an area and i'm gonna be meeting a designer she's going to measure me up and she's going to make this fit for me in the course of the next like three days so i'm nervous because i really hope that she can deliver she better because money is being spent um but I'm gonna take you guys with me so that you can see the whole process. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what her space is like, but I saw Eve wearing like this two piece set once 
and she was like oh it was her who made it and honestly the set was stunning stunning so she is open for the challenge of creating this creative piece for me so let's see how it goes Dress then. Alright. Dress skirt and then dress men. Let's dress first. Mm -hmm. So 40 slash 45. 40 slash 45. 45. 54. 54. And 66. 66. She's quite tall. She's yes. finished my tip measure. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do skirt then. And I'm considered short in my family. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> So I'm the little one. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> 17. Mm -hmm. 23. 23. 32. 32. 41. 41. And then 46. 46. So bye, trousers. Okay, so we do pads to Zarf. They get high measurements and everything. Yeah, so you can spread the next one. She said she saw the orange two piece we did for you. The oh, oh. So before I go, I have to get Take mine. <laughs> Don't worry. I have to get mine in a couple colors. <laughs> okay, so do 35.5. 35. 35.5. Slash 29. 29. Yes. Okay. Slash 23.5. 23.5. Okay. Mm. I think that'll do. They're wasting me. Yeah, because you can stand. Have you got to the travel then? I'll take that one. So waste. Yay! So that's the most important. Okay, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> um. So deposit. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just looked that in, babe. The deposit. Um. How much is the deposit? The 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 half will be one five. One five. You are on the Yes, okay. Yeah, when I was in Toronto, I saw Eve wearing this two piece orange. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, horrible. who did that? <laughs> so before, hello, how are you? Good morning. So before I leave, I need my versions of those oh, two. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Definitely. And so I. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, so these are some colors. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> but we might still have more options when we go for okay to okay. search for fabric. I'm just showing you what, what some the of the fabric will be like, like which yeah. is perfect. Off the top, I'm in love with this pink. Yeah, I, love I think this it pink, might right? pop yes. more, but I would love to see what other options there are. Blue, like I like a brighter blue. Okay, like a baby blue. Not necessarily baby blue, mm -hmm. but like. Mm. Kind of like you know the bag almost, yeah. or like royal. Oh, like what you're wearing? Oh yes, like <laughs> we're like a little deeper than this, this yeah. But but I'm I always wear blue, so I'm thinking <laughs> maybe I should switch it up. You might just up. stick with. I, mean, I think you should switch it up. Do something like do something. Yeah, they're, I know. They're probably not used to. Right, so. and I feel like um, just I was gonna just wear like something that I carried. Okay. But then when I realized that the theme was um, African sure ball, it's okay. Coming. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm coming. Sorry. No worries. No worries. Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, me. I'll record you, but your feet. <laughs> <sighs> so 
something like this. What are you making your face up for? You don't even know what I'm getting done. It's the perfect fabric for it. Okay. It's not necessarily African style. But the designer is African, okay? She is good at what she does. The lights came back up. Guys, look at this purse. So if it's the pink one that we decide to do the pink fabric, look at this. I, I don't even think the video is gonna do it justice, but they made all of these as well. Like you can wear it just like this, or you can use like two phone handles. It's actually Cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna look amazing. I want this. It's very light Ghana for me to be doing one thing, get a call, and then now I'm back at Rose Garden meeting the girls. So yeah. <laughs> Love, 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 yeah. Yeah. If you give your heart, baby, love, love, to love, to love, 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 yeah. love yeah. Then I'll make you love, 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 to love, to love, yeah, love, yeah, love, yeah, love, love, yeah. love, 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 yeah. So I gotta do your body like skin tight. Cheese! Okay, I'd let you in time. I go there by your buddy like skin tight. Skin tight. No Google. copyright, oh. No copyright. <laughs> okay, alright, time for Pierre. No, you, you have to tell them, you have to sing the songs on the ad lib for them. I don't know the words good enough. All I've been saying is make it your body like skin tight. Skin tight. Be by your side. Come on. 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 Come on.
<laughs> He's enjoying it. <laughs> How much is it? 30, 30 cities. Okay, 30 you, you can give him the 20, I'll give him the 10. Yeah. Okay. You guys see Sasha have fresh money. We're at Kempinski Hotel right now, you guys. Security guard in Ghana. Hello. You mentioned his name when you come. Okay, what's your name? He's plugged in with other events, head of security. Okay. You, you guys heard it here. Heard, say Eve sent y'all if you Eve see him. Said this is the best security in Ghana. So you know we need to reach out. Come, 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 come. They were protecting Stoneboy's event. Nice. And he plugs me in, got me in exclusively. So yeah, that's his team. Nice. Head of, yes, head of security. That's him. So yeah. Love that. Blessings. Yeah, man. Okay, so we're at Kempinski Hotel right now. It's Ram with everybody who's staying here in the Christmas season. But um, today at Kempinski Hotel, it's kind of like a bougie hotel in Ghana. Um, it's where I actually got one of the best massages I've ever gotten. They have a journey experience here. We're actually going to go see if we can book ourselves over the next couple days. But we're here today because Boris Kojo and quite a few other people are having like a conference talking about economics investing um, in Africa, in Ghana. And so we're going to go check it out and see Wagwan. But there's also many other things happening at Kempinski. So I will take you with. And yeah, the vibes. She's so cute. Stop. Like she's very cute. Stop. Honestly, she's a very cute girl. You're cute. You're cute. You're cute. When you have to fight with your friends because you're cute. Yeah, I'm, me and Eve are low-key always fighting. Yes, because we're cousins. <laughs> this is my cousin. We, we actually went to the same kind um, daycare yeah. together. Yeah, and we didn't even know though. We didn't even know. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy. Oh, I'm so jealous. The girls are in bikinis going to have a swim. This is Sasha's favorite way of dressing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sasha has to be rigged. Yes. Now I'm a Ghana girl, but I'm really a Jamaican girl forever. Forever and ever. I'll be the teacher. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, this man, Hi. he actually was one who helped me get my phone back. My bag when I left it in the Uber Ooh, last time, remember? Nice. Well, I was here, remember? Yep. And you were getting rubbed on. You all getting rubbed. I'm and sorry, I was... but like, she told me to do it because we had paid already. And if I didn't do it, okay. I don't know. But she still got it. See, God loves her, eh? Mm -hmm. The Uber brought my bag yes. back. It's Thank only pure people that get this love in. Mm -hmm. Amen. I love the core in this place. It's beautiful. Let's go to the washroom. No, we won't. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Let's see how nice their bathrooms are. Because they normally have a judge. Shout out to Tasha the Millionaire, you know? Look, look, look behind you. Hey! Y'all hey. didn't see us coming? No! no. Yeah, we're right behind you. You know what? Guys, this is Vanessa. Pretty girl Vanessa. I'm so honored to be on the vlog. Oh! oh I manifested it. Oh! Let's oh. come here, friend. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is Vanessa. She was once one of you. Yeah, she's one of us. Right. You two could be in this box. <laughs> <laughs> you two could be here. You, could be here. <laughs> you could be in a car. You could be next year. Right. Start manifesting. Right. I think I think we should go to the yeah. other wash. I don't think there's washroom. Yeah. This piece of artwork, you guys. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go. You okay, Renee? How's your finger? <laughs> like, how's her finger? I wasn't trying to do that. Is it like throbbing? Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, because when you get when your finger gets um, slammed or rolled up well, in a window. Was he I wasn't even. He, 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 came, he started off irate. He started off irate? I felt like he was already annoyed of us because, you know, we, he was we waiting for us to take pictures. Oh, fuck off. We're paying for it. Yeah. Where are we going, though? Uh, we're going to the washroom and then... Isn't the washroom right here? She said she wants to go to the other washroom. What other washroom? What other washroom did you say? Okay. Over here doesn't... I'm sure it's this way. Or is there a way here? Okay, come. 
Morris Kojo, you guys. Look at these. You guys make sure you watch Eve's channel. Yes, your wife will say that. Yes. Yes. Six, that's my son. That's the one? Six, that's my son. That's a six. That's right. That's six. Thank you so much. This beautiful young lady wants a picture with you. She's saying it the whole night. So that's right. just got their Boris Kojo moment. They're happy about it. And uh, now, I don't know what we're doing next. But we're in Ghana. So, you know, we go on and we go on. We're gonna, we're gonna go peek in there quickly. See Wagwan. than Satan's toenails in here. I'm sweating like a hoe in church. But I'm back for my fitting. She's fast. The other day when I came and she measured me, that was the day before yesterday. So she called me for my fitting last night, the day after, and was like, you can come. I was like, and rumor has it that she's Nigerian. She lives in Ghana, but she's Nigerian, so I'm excited. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I came. Yeah. Today is the day, <laughs> and it's time. Nobody like work, but you must also if you want to. If no finish, they won't fight us. If them they run, them no fit catch up. I know they from say I too like us. No call they from say you too like us. You know, get the time for the hate and the bad energy. Come on, mind on my mind. Make you dance like a boy. Steady game like a boy. I feel like it lasted not all alone. Not too long, but I like to lift it on the edges. Not only is she a designer, <laughs> she's a makeup artist. <laughs> Yeah, you are killing it. It looks so good. <laughs> hey, I see me. <laughs> okay, on that glow. <laughs> Now I'm about to try the dress. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. All right. Nobody like work, but you must also if you want to. If no finish, they won't fight us. If them they run, them no fit catch up. I know they from say I too like us. No call they from say you too like us. You no get the time for the hate and the bad and the guys. She snaps. I was so worried. 
because I don't trust anybody to do my makeup, but of course, she's Nigerian. Yeah, it's pretty. It is pretty. Okay, so let's see. So we'll still do the veil to we'll okay. do this on the veil, so you have some African. Okay. I'm sure you like it more when it's on you. I'm a pirate. Alright, alright. How many people do you bring? How many people do you bring? How many people? The Uber ride was actually terrible. Terrible, I guess. Their name, especially if you know them. So, you guys, the first panel just finished, and we kind of had to fight for our lives for drinks. <laughs> now, we're probably gonna have to fight for eternity for food. Even though we're in the VIP section, and honestly, you guys, this is no diss to like anybody at all. Like, this is my third year being at this event, and there's a reason why I come to this event. It's like one of the big fashion events in Ghana, in Accra, and I still recommend it. I still recommend people go. It's just we're in the VIP section, but we're not being treated like VIP. Um, from the minute I got in here, it was not a VIP experience. It was a lot of confusion. And okay, like, you know, sometimes that's what happens, but it is a little frustrating because especially when you spend money to be somewhere, you invest in a custom dress, you advertise to your audience. I've already met so many of you guys here who are like, first of all, I'm in Ghana because of you, and second of all, I'm at this event because of you. So it's like, you expect... <laughs> I'm ranting. Okay. okay. Listen, I went to go get someone to get us food. So we'll be fed in no time. Okay. Okay. In Ghana, no time. In Ghana, no time. Okay. <laughs> Which could be, we don't know. But yeah, like it's not to complain or anything. But like, I don't want to continuously like tell you guys all the fluff and not be honest with you about what the experiences are often like. Right? Because I can curate it to make it look beautiful online, but I could bullshit you. And then you could get here and then you could be like, bro. And I just want you to know that, like. So, I'm leaving. Why? Why you I'm gonna leave. I don't really handle this one very well. You're gonna treat me right. You give me what. 
Even them, she said that we we're supposed to be at the mall by five o'clock. Of course, she messaged us back saying that she fell asleep. <laughs> so I'm just waiting. And even though I know you guys aren't gonna be able to help me, I still wanna know in the comments. Is it better with the glasses? Sometimes I feel like when I put on glasses, they take away from like the beauty of my face. Cause you know, the girl's face card <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever declines. But you guys know how I feel about a, a, a very casual but elegant moves with the body type uh, outfit. Those are very common for me while I'm in Ghana, honestly. Like, my style has evolved so much since the first time I came here. And when I say evolved, I mean, like, grown woman-wise. And we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. For all of you guys who've been following me for a while, you probably remember my other vlog, my other Glana vlog, where I told you how a guy pretty much told me that like what I was wearing was un unacceptable. We could talk more about it. I said that I would do like a like a specific like video on it, but I don't know how many of you are actually interested. But that that has spiraled into me just understanding the culture more, and honestly, I feel like it's grown me up. I'm not even gonna lie, and I love it. I love it because I do feel like a different caliber of people try and talk to me. Not that I'm looking for anybody to talk to me because, you know, I already have my babe, but I can attest to what the girls are saying. Different, just a different vibe. So we're here getting Eve. Eve is getting ready. Wow. The event is called God Ghana, went, to, Ghana, Ghana to, to the Moon. moon. Ghana to the Moon, wow. So, who is designing all of these pieces and stuff for you? Okay, so I'm gonna shout out the big and one and only Amos, CEO of Kumasi Fashion Week. He put this entire look together. Wow. Shout out to the makeup artist, Franny. Yes. And shout out to the beautiful women who are about to pray for me to go on stage. Yes. And we're about to pray. Blessings. We're about to pray. Can y'all help me? <laughs> all right. Mm. Who's praying? Sasha. Why me? Sasha, just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you because you are the one and the only. Father, you know exactly what Eve is about to do right now. You understand the mission. You understand exactly why you have put her in this position to be here. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you guide her, keep her, allow her to illuminate the stage. Let people see your light when she steps on that stage. Father, give her every word that she needs to use. Allow her to connect and inspire. Allow her to be able to touch every single person that is out there. Let her do an exceptional job. More opportunities will be open from this. Every single person that got her ready bless them father god their mm -hmm. store baskets will never be empty father in the name of jesus christ we thank you for what you're about to do and what mm -hmm. you're you've already done mm -hmm. in the name of jesus amen amen, amen. I feel like today is the best time to indulge in swimming activities and 
Tony, my friend Tony, is in Ghana. So she's gonna meet us at the pool, me and Bay. I invited some other girls, but you know, everybody, everybody have them Sunday socks out already. So, yeah. This is my first pool day since I've been here, and I've been here for like two months. So it's 2.20 per person, 2.20 Ghana cities per person because it's a weekend. They said that's the price on holidays and weekends, um, but on weekdays it's 150. So noted because it's Sunday today, so we're feeling it, but that's okay, that's okay. Guys, we're all laid out. Tony's coming. Babe's changing into his trunks. Them need to do look a better with the menu. I'm not gonna lie. Not by party, but like the actual menu itself. It looks like a mashup for this. It's like a whole other country. It's fine. So wait, so you said that you said So guys, I am in Ghana and I'm getting my hair redone, as you can see. Um but this time I'm getting it done VIP style. Incredible in here. First of all, for the years that I've been coming here to see that she has another location that is just stunning. Oh my god, you guys come with me. Walk with me. Braids and Beyond, second location in Accra is outstanding. I'm so impressed and inspired by her. You guys know how I've been coming here for so long. So the fact that she has another location and it's giving this, it's giving this. I'm gonna say you can do anything you want to know, anything you want, my inspired, no good.
them in Ghana. Break them down. But my hand was made strong. He's like, let me get your door. Oh, my lady. Thanks, babe. You're so sweet. You guys, it's so beautiful in here. Oh my gosh, romantic day. right now so I don't want to be ghetto but babe how do you feel oh there's fully stairs here oh you guys mm. honestly like I don't even look good right now. I look so dusty. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but at the same time, I'm just like, I'm just relishing in my wifey to be this. Oh my goodness. I, I just called many of my close friends 
to give them the news. I might like, give them the news. News. <laughs> and I'm just, wow. Like, I'm just still in shock. Like, it has not hit me. It has not hit me yet. I even want to change the camera. I don't even want to use this camera. I want to use my vlog camera, but... I'm about to be a wife. I am so happy. I'm so, I feel so blessed. I feel so at peace. Like this is like, I wish this on the people that I love. I wish this on you guys. I wish that you... I just, I want you guys to experience what I'm experiencing. If I could bottle it and give it to you, I honestly would. Like, I am so blessed to be loved by this man. Like, this man loves me so well. I would say yes to him over and over again. And it's so crazy because when I told my friend, she's like, bruh, today you said to me, I think he's my husband. And on that same day that I said that to my friend, he literally proposed. I can't wait until I'm able to tell you guys the full story of how everything happened. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to reveal him now on my socials or if I'm going to wait. I don't know. We're still talking about it. He doesn't mind. He's like, you can post. Like, I don't mind. He's He hasn't minded from the beginning. Um, it was just me because I'm like, you know, being selfish and just wanting to keep him all to myself and just keep our love, like, you know, protected and it's protected no matter what because it's covered under the blood of Jesus. <laughs> let's let's start there, <laughs> okay? And to know that my parents have known for a month and his parents and my parents already were on a video call praying over this day a month ago. Bruh, I I I'm going to continue. I'm going to I'm going to talk more about this after you guys, but I just want to say that I'm just in awe. I'm shocked. I, I can't even, I can't even, I have so much to say to you guys, but I can't even say it right now because I'm just, I like pinch me, pinch me. I just woke up. I can't believe I'm a fiance. I can't believe that's my husband. I, do you know how blessed I am? Do you know how happy I am to know that that is the man that I get to call my husband? That's going to be the man that raises my kids. The, uh, the integrity the kindness, the sweetness, the I'm his dream girl, you know? I'm his dream girl. You guys, I'm his dream girl, and I know that. And he treats me like that. Like, I know I'm his dream girl. I, I can feel it with the way that he cares for me, the way that he loves me, the way that he corrects me, the way that he encourages me, the way that he lifts me up, the way that he supports me, the way that he remi re reminds me to put God first, the way that he keeps me taken care of the way he opens like everything like I just I God honestly to God be the glory when I really look over my life you know people always say these little jokes oh you're God's favorite eh like look at how this happened look at how this happened in your life look at how this happened in your life and I never want to get braggadocious about it because it's like I never want to lose that I never want to lose that favor and that grace that God gives me and sometimes Many times, all the time, I don't understand why. I'm like, is it because I talk to you all the time, God? Like, is that what it is? I'm like, will this run out? Like, what is it? And honestly, like, the more that I ask the, and the more that I go on, I know, like, and I just see, and I'm just like, every time it happens, it's like, I don't know how it happens, but I just thank God for it. And you know how I knew that he was perfect for me? Because when I looked at him and I put him beside all of the great things that God has miraculously done in my life, he aligned with them. I'm like, yes, this is, of course, of course, of course, the way that God loves me, of course he would send me someone like this, of course. And I think that was like the best way for me to like really understand that this was God sent because any other person that I have been dating in the past, like, they just didn't match up to the to to where God has set the bar and my love he 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 
precedes the bar is that the word he goes beyond the bar and i and when i look at him and when i really take it in i'm like of course god wouldn't god would have nothing less for me judging based off of what god has done in my life up until this point of course he would send me a man like this of course and no it's not too good to be true because i also have great discernment and god has taught me through the experiences in the past to be able to look and to feel people's heart and their true intention and this man has never worried me never gave me the idea you know i'm not you know how you like look over red flags never never he is just a walking green flag. And I'm so grateful to God that God saw it fit to give him to me. I am so blessed to have him. So blessed to have him as my fiance. And I know he's blessed to have me as his. <laughs> we don't got to say that twice. I'll ask you a quick question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me. How do you feel about this? And <laughs> <laughs> healthy skin clear, high drink. <laughs> <laughs> to know how you felt about this. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 